Hey people, how's it going? I'm gonna show you how you can set up your own newsletter workflow in high level. Nowadays, everyone is building their personal brand, building newsletters, they wanna own their audience. I'm trying to do the same thing and I wanna share the things that I learn. This is what I wanna create. So I found this person on Twitter the other day. I really like what they've got here. They've got like a free resources section on their site. And this is what people are doing. So they use a lead magnet to get users into their funnel or their newsletter, let's say. So the one I'm going to use as inspiration is this one, the chat GPT one. So this is probably going to take 10 minutes to make. And yeah, it's really easy to set up. So we want to go to sites, forms, and add a new form in high level. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to just take the color of that button. So I use this plugin here called Colorzilla. And you can use like an eyedropper tool on websites to take the color. So we're going to add in an email, input, a button. There's a couple of changes I want to make in this style and options area. So I'm going to go for remove the label so we don't have a text above there. I'm going to make the border zero take the shadow off. So I'm just going to drag the transparency down so that there's no shadow. Field style, I'm going to add a two pixel border, add that same color that we had on the other page, not for the font, um, for the border. And I want to add 12 pixels top and bottom padding. And then under placeholder, we're gonna make that text a bit bigger. So I'm gonna just go for 14. Then for the button, that one says get it for free. So I'm just gonna mimic that. Background on that button is that color. We wanna make that full width. And let's make that text a bit bigger. Save that, I'm gonna call this chat GPT prompts. Eventually you might have multiple lead magnets, right? So you wanna create a form like this for each one. So you can just duplicate these and you'll see why once we get to the automation section. So next we wanna create an opt-in page. So we just come to sites, funnels, create a new funnel. I'm gonna call this chat GPT prompts lead magnet just go into there add a new step for this page I'll just call it opt-in create from blank once you've got this you can just reuse this change the colors change the picture and then this can kind of be a good template to start with so once this pops up go for full width add a row one column add some elements we want a sub headline a headline and another subheadline. So let's go back to this page. We're going to say prompt collection. Add that here. Make it bold. I'm j if you don't use this, I'm just on a Mac doing Command A and then Command B to make it bold. Or you can just click that. And I want to make the bold text color. So we're going to add in that custom color. So I'm just going to come back to this and get that color again. Just paste that in there and then we can use that. Didn't add it. Oh. So let's add that color needs to have the hashtag for the hex code. Take this headline. Make this bigger. And then this sub headline. Add that in. Make that a bit smaller. Add a bit of padding to the top. 
give that a bit of space. Then we're going to add a form. So this is the form for this page, chat GPT prompts. And then we're going to add in an image. So I'm just using the exact same image from here just to copy it. You can add in title and description here. For now, I'm just going to keep it as it is, blank. Let's preview that. Cool. So that's pretty much the same as as what we had here. The only thing is just that text isn't bold, which we can change. So you just want to save all your changes. And the next thing is to create an automation for when someone fills out this form. So that's updated now. So that's looking pretty good. We want to go to automation on the sidebar and create a new workflow. We're just going to start from scratch. Just call this chat GPT or we'll call it lead magnet. Chat GPT and newsletter opt in. We'll add a new trigger, which is going to be a form submitted. Add a filter. Form is Chat GPT prompts. And this is where I was saying that you want a different form for each one because what we do next is we're going to send them an email that is for that lead magnet. So in this case, it's going to be from your name, from the email that you set up. And we're going to say, um, your free download. And we can say, hey, first name. We just add in this dynamic uh, value here for first name. Here's your download. Here's your download. Right, you can use templated emails here, but it's kind of not really worth the hassle. You just want to say like, hey, their first name, and then here's your link. Here's your download. Now there's some pretty fancy stuff you could do at this point. You could have a whole sequence that gets sent out to them in here. You can use like some of the sequences that are recommended by Russell Brunson. But if you were just going to have a download, you just say, here's your download link and then like a Google Drive link. Okay. What we also want to do is add a tag to this contact. So if you've not done this before, you won't have newsletter. You just click add new tag after you've typed newsletter. We want to add that tag to anyone who fills this form out like because we're going to subscribe them to our newsletter right so i'm going to publish this and then i'm going to show you how we create a smart list that we can actually send the newsletters to so once i saved published go back come into your contacts you do need one put in here so i've just added in a placeholder one so what you want to do is go to more filters and we want to say that their email is not empty and the tag is newsletter. When we apply that, we say save as a smart list and then we just want to say newsletter and save it. I've already done that, so I'm not going to add another one. And then you can check that it pops up here. So I've got newsletter list. And the reason we have this is so that when we send our newsletter, which is under marketing, email campaigns, and we want to send something out. So I think most of the newsletters that I tend to see are just text. You don't need to go with templates and anything fancy. Like I would literally just delete that and put text on it and have the first thing you know greeting the person you can add a first name input to that box if you want to 
and then you can say hi first name or use their name in the subject line but I think most of these ones I've seen now like this they don't even have a name and their emails don't obviously mention your name but yeah anyway when you go to actually send it you say send to smart list and you add newsletter list and that is how you send to that tagged list of people so those people are going to see your opt-in page they put their email in to get the lead magnet that you're offering that gets automatically emailed to them and then they're added into your newsletter and then you can access that list every time you send out your newsletter so you can come in here and schedule and and write these in advance and then just schedule them out to that smart list that is basically how you do it in high level